Hello and welcome to Classy Handmade. Today is Stitch and Pattern Tuesday. So today I will be showing you how to make these summer headband using cotton yarn that I got from the Dollar Tree. So the stitch we will be using is single crochet, chain and double crochet. So I made these three headband and they're all different sizes. This headband is a multiple of four plus two. So I made these. The yellow one is the color is amber. The pink is dry rose and the blue is sky blue and this cotton is just cotton from Premier and I'll show you how to make these at bat. So I made the blue one and I put at the end of it some little flowers so when you tie it they will have some little embellishment at the end of the tie. But today I'll show you how to make the pink one. So, and you just tie it at the back like this. So that's how it is. And then when you tie it at the back, you will have this knot at the back like that. You could tie it around your ponytail or just leave it hanging. So I'll show you how to make this. We'll use the material we will need is, of course, your cotton yarn. For today's demonstration, I'll use the Miss Colorway, but the same just cotton from Premier. A size 4 millimeter hook, a yarn needle and a pair of scissors so you can go ahead and measure your head and do a multiple of four plus two for today's demonstration I will be chaining 52 plus two so let's get started so make your slip knot, wrap your yarn around your finger, take your hook and grab that loop at the back and that's how you make your slip knot. And you're going to chain 52 plus 2 and you will have 54 stitches. So go ahead and chain up your 54. And I'll meet you back at the end of your 54 chains. So I did my 54 chain and then I went ahead and did row 1 and 2 because it's just single crochet. When you get to your 54 chains, you're going to turn and you're going to single crochet in the second chain from hook. And continuous one single crochet into each stitch until you get to the end and you will have 53 single crochet and that's row one for row two you will turn chain one and put one single crochet into each stitch until you get to the end of the row so go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back at the end of row two so for row three, you're going to turn, chain three, one, two, three. The chain three is counted as your first double crochet. So you're going to put one more double crochet into the next stitch. So 
so you have a foundation right here a beginning of two double crochet you're going to chain three one two three at the foundation of your chain three which is your you're going to see a bump right here let me zoom in a bit so you can see what i'm talking about right here you there is a bump in that bump you're going to put a two double crochet cluster so one yarn over insert pull a loop, loop yarn over you have three loops on the hook you're going to yarn over and pull through all three you're going to skip one single crochet and you're going to do a three double crochet decrease so yarn over insert your hook and pull up a loop but do not finish the decrease the double crochet insert into the next single crochet yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook yarn over insert into the next and yarn over pull up yarn over pull up a loop pull through so therefore you have three loops from your three double crochet decrease and one from the previous so you're going to yarn over and pull through all four so you have those three double crochet it's just one chain one stitch okay so you decrease three stitches then you're going to chain three one two three go back into the first chain the bump and then put a cluster chain two chain sorry two double crochet cluster you have three hook on three loops on the hook yarn over pull through all three so here you have a cluster okay you're going to skip one single crochet and do three double crochet decrease four loops on hook yarn over and pull through all four chain three one two three two double crochet cluster three loops on the hook yarn over pull through all three skip a single crochet and a three double crochet decrease so you're going to repeat this pattern all the way until you get to the last three single crochet so I'm going to continue doing my pattern until I get to my last three single crochet and I'll meet you back there so I'm coming to the end of row three and I just did my last cluster so I'm going to skip the next single crochet and I'm going to put one double crochet into the each of the next double crochet so I have two double crochet at the end of row three okay so far your piece will look like this okay so for row four you're going to turn turn chain three one two three first the chain three is counted as your first double crochet so you're going to put one more double crochet into the next stitch so at the end you will have at the beginning you have two double crochet and at the end you will have two double crochet so chain one so right at the top of the double crochet decrease three double crochet decrease you're going to put three double crochet into that space one two 
three. Chain one, three double crochet. So here you have it. So this is your two double crochet, crochet at the beginning. Then right at the top of the double crochet decrease, you're going to put three double crochet into that stitch. Then you're going to chain one. After you, sorry, after you finish your three, two double crochet, you chain one. And you're going to skip this cluster that you had here in the previous round round three and you're going to put three double crochet into that space above the three double crochet decrease from the previous round and chain one and you're going to do the same thing here three double crochet into that space right there okay let me show you that again chain one skip this cluster and right here right here you can see a space you're going to put three double crochet into that space chain one three double crochet chain one three double crochet and you're going to continue this until you get to your last until you get to your last cluster right here then you're going to chain that's the end you're going to chain one and then you're going to double crochet one double crochet into each of the last double crochet and I'll meet you back at the end of round four so I'm coming up to the end of round four I did my three double crochet into that space I chain one so I'm going to skip this last cluster here and I'm going to put one double crochet into the each of the next two stitches okay double crochet at the top of the chain three so that's the end of round four that's how it's going to look so for round five you're going to turn chain one single crochet into the first double crochet single crochet into the next double crochet and you're going to put one double crochet into each stitch and for a total of 53 single crochet so you did two single crochet into the chain one you're going to put it single crochet into the three double crochet you're going to put one double crochet into each of these stitches and you're going to continue doing that until you get to the end where you put one single crochet into each stitch for row five and when you finish row five you're going to turn chain one and single crochet back so we have six rows so we finish our headband basically here so we are going to now make the piece where we could tie at the back if you would like you can continue you can repeat row three and four five and six and make it an extra row or however wide you want to make it so but for this headband we will just make one lace panel so you're going to single crochet across the edge of your headband so 
we're going to put eight single crochet evenly across the bottom of the edge of your headband so that's one two three four Six, seven, eight. So just slip stitch into so we don't have a end right here. You're going to slip stitch into the first beginning chain right there where you start your headband so it will look like this so you just slip stitch into there to just to join it then we're going to turn so I have my eight single crochet that I did one single crochet evenly until you have eight across at the bottom of your headband so it would look like that i'm going to turn chain one so i turn and i already chain one i'm going to skip this first single crochet and single crochet into the next so that's one two three four five then I'm going to skip this next single crochet here and I'm going to single crochet into the next so I have six single crochet I'm going to turn chain one I'm going to skip the first this would be our first single crochet here I'm going to skip the next one skip that one and go into sorry guys I'm going to skip this single crochet right here so basically it's the second single crochet from the hook I'm going to skip it and single crochet into the next one two three four and then I'm going to skip the next and single crochet into the next one so basically you're decreasing each row by two so it will start to decrease and come in a point okay turn chain one skip this single crochet and single crochet into the next okay then I'm going to skip this one and single crochet so I have two single crochet so your piece will look like that I'm going to turn chain one and just put one single crochet into the, each of the next two single crochet okay so you will have something like look like that <laughs> turn and do one single crochet a decrease you decrease so let me show you that again insert your hook into the first stitch and pull up a loop insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop and you're going to have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three loops so for the tie of the headband so your headband will look like that we're going to do some chain so one two three four five six seven eight it all depends how long you want your tie I did 
45 for my tie. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So go ahead and chain how much. If you want to chain the 45 like I did, you can do that. So I'll reach you back when I finish my 45 chains. So I finished my 45 chain for my tie. And this is how the end of the headband looks. I'll show you how to do the other side. So because you cut the yarn, you cut the yarn after you finish your 45 chain. And you're going to attach it to the next end. So you make your slip knot. Put your yarn through your needle and you can insert it into the corner of your headband like that. So you see. And then you grab your yarn. And you're going to chain one to secure and into that same space you're going to put a single crochet. And then you're going to put one eight single crochet across. So that's count to one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You probably have some ends, you'll have to weave it in, or you can crochet over it. So, eight. And just slip stitch into the next stitch so that you will have a gap there okay so this is how it looks I'm going to weave in my ends later with my yarn needle so you're going to turn chain one you're going to skip that single crochet so it basically is a second single crochet from the hook and you're going to single crochet into the next five one two three four five skip the next one and single crochet into the next okay chain turn chain one skip this you're always skipping one because that's how you do your decrease. Instead of doing decrease two stitch together, you just skip one. So skip that one and single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. So you should have six when you so just now you had six and then you're going to have four then two then so I'm going to skip that one sorry I should have skipped this one skip this one and single crochet into the next turn chain one skip this one and you single crochet skip the next and single crochet chain turn chain one and you should have two stitches one two two single crochet okay so that's how it is turn and you just decrease yarn over and then you just chain when you finish your decrease and you make your decrease for your head 
headband so basically after you join your yarn you just repeat what you did for the first this side you do the same thing on the other side and so you can go ahead and do that and i'll meet you back when you finish chaining your 45 chain for your tie so you can go ahead and weave in your ends and i hope this tutorial was easy for you to understand and that you will make some summer headbands these are some quick easy gift and you will make some and you can we love to see the colors you choose you choose sorry <laughs> and oh you can share it on my facebook page I'll leave the link in the description box. You can come over there and show the ones that you've made if you decided to make these. So, this is what it looks like. As you can, the ends, what I normally do, I pull it tight and I tie a knot. Like this. And then I cut off or you can weave it in you could add beads at the end if you like so this is what I do and then I cut it off so this is what your headband will look like the finished pro product the length is from tip to tip that's 12 13 14 15 about 16 and a half inches in length if you want to make it longer you can chain some more because you know it's a multiple of four plus two so I hope you like and join for more stitch and pattern Tuesday. Until next time, guys, remember to be kind. Until next time, bye.